Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the easiest super ear warmer in adult size. For more information check out the description box below or johnamartinez.com. Thank you so much for watching, now let's get started! For materials I am using 52 yards or 90 grams of super bulky yarn, an L 8.00 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker is optional but super handy. You will also need two wooden buttons. I'm using these two buttons that are about an inch across. To begin, create a slip knot. Wrap the yarn around your fingers twice. Take the back yarn and put it to the front. And now what is the back yarn? You're going to pull up, over, and off your finger. And this creates a slip knot. Insert your hook into the slip knot and pull the working yarn and just cinch that slip knot down just a little bit. Now we're going to chain 44. To chain, grab your yarn and pull it through. There's one, two. This loop on your hook never counts as a chain. You can count your V's to count your chains. So from here, chain 44 and then I will meet back up. After chaining 44, I now have a chain that measures about 20 and a half inches. From here, begin row one. Row one, we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from hook. To half double crochet, yarn over, Insert your hook into the third chain, grab your yarn, and pull up a loop. We now have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're going to half double crochet into each chain all the way to the end. So again, yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, grab your yarn and pull up a loop, I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. Once we get to the end of the chain, I will meet back up again to begin row two. Here is my work at the end of row one, half double crocheting into each chain. At the end of the row, you want to chain two and turn your work. Row two is going to be a repeat row. So we're going to repeat this row until we have seven rows. We're going to be half double crocheting into the back loop only. So as you see, looking from the top of your stitches, you have a V, you have a back loop, and a front loop. We're going to be taking our crochet hook and catching only the back loop. So you're going to go from the top of the stitch and only hook the back loop. For the half double crochet back loop only, yarn over, and I like to hold that loop on my hook with my first finger like this. Go from the top of the stitch, grab the back loop only, then grab your yarn, pull up a loop. We have our three loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. So we're going to continue in this fashion all the way down our work. When we do this, it pushes the front loop forward and creates a texture. Once we get to the end of row two, I will meet back up and show you how it's looking. As a quick added note, the chain two in this pattern will not count as a stitch. At the end of each row, you will have 42 stitches. At the end of row two, chain two and turn. Continue repeating row two until you have seven rows total. Here I have completed seven rows. Two, four, six, seven. From here you want to just fasten off your yarn, pull that tail through the last loop on your hook, and cinch it down. Then you can weave in your ends. Now it's ready to add some buttons. Cut a fresh piece of yarn and put your yarn needle onto it. Then place your buttons where you would like them to be. Now sew them on.
After you get your buttons on, you just go ahead and line up your work. And then because of all of these spaces in our work, they're actually perfect buttonholes, making your ear warmer just a little bit adjustable. You can just line it up, find a space, and pop your buttons through. And there your ear warmer is all ready to wear. I hope you love your new ear warmer. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a lovely crochet day, and I hope to see you again in my next tutorial. Bye!